It's your old pal, Handy Randy M, here to tell you the difference between sativa and indigo. You see, sativa is more of a cerebral high. It affects the brain and the nervous system. It has a psychoactive effect. It enhances creativity, gives you focus, and a perspective shift. Indigo, on the other hand, affects the body and the muscular system. It has a physical effect, engaging the entire body through your endocannabinoid system. It can be used as an anesthetic for pain reduction and as an anti-inflammatory. Sativas are indigenous to Colombia, Jamaica, Thailand, and Northern California, while indigas are indigenous to India, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. Sativas tend to grow taller and yield a fluffy, leafy, less dense bud, while indigas are usually smaller and bushier. They yield a dense, heavy, solid bud. Sativas can treat depression, fatigue, ADD, ADHD, and mild social anxiety. They are not used for pain or insomnia. Examples include train wreck, AK-47, black and white widow, and super super haze. Indicas can treat pain, stress, insomnia, neuropathy, menstrual cramps, glaucoma, side effects of chemotherapy, and epilepsy. They are not for depression or fatigue. Examples include OG Kush, Your Purples, Granddaddy, Urkel, and Mendo Purps. Dr. Alan Frankel studied 3,850 patients and determined Sativa helped 81% of his patients focus, motivation in 94%, reduced anxiety instantly in 65%, and 89% reported feeling less anxious throughout the day. In fact, 90% of his patients reported feeling happier. Indigo helps relaxation in 92% of his patients and increases appetite in 72%. It also reduces nausea in 82%, severe pain in 90%, and increases tranquility in 88%. If all this information has gotten to be a little too much for you, just remember this. Sativa kind of sounds like cerebral because it gets you a head high, whereas Indigo kind of sounds like in the couch. That's where you're going to be with a full body high.